video, I'll break down how to transform your digital footage and make it look like it was actually shot on film. Now, most people that achieve this look use the Dehancer plugin. However, in this video, I'll break down how to achieve a similar look at a much more affordable price. So this video is basically how to create the Dehancer effect on a budget using a couple of my plugins, a LUT, and then a built-in effect in Final Cut. So let me first break down how to actually download and how to install these plugins to make sure that everything works properly. Now the two plugins that you're going to need are the Channel Blur plugin, which is listed as the Film Halation Effect on my digital store, and the Pro Mist Filter. These are some really cool uh, affordable plugins. So as you can see right here, I have the zip file, the channelblur.zip and the promist.zip. So if you go ahead and purchase them and download them from my store, they should have two zip files. All you want to do for both these zip files is just take the zip file, double click on it with your mouse, and that is going to open it up. And then we go to Promist, double click the zip file, and that's going to unzip the file. If you open the Promist filter, as you can see, this is what it should look like. If it looks like that, then you're all good. We can open up the Channel Blur plugin, and if it looks like that, then you should be all good to go. So those are the two plugins you are going to need. Now in order to install these, what you want to do is click on Go, so select on the Go icon. What you want to do is you want to scroll down until you find Home. So select on Home, click on Home. Now what you want to do is you want to find the Movies folder, open up the Movies folder, and there should be a Motions template folder. If you do not have a Motions template folder, you can just go ahead and create it, make sure everything is spelled right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it and click on Get Info. And you want to make sure it says Motion Templates.localize. This is really important, make sure that is correct. We can go ahead and close out of it, open up the folder, and you should put it in your effects folder. If you don't have an effects folder, uh, just create a new folder. Right click on it, click on get info, and you wanna make sure it says effects.localize. If that's all good to go, then, you, then the installation process should be a breeze. So make sure those are really, um, you know, make sure those are all correct. We can go ahead and close out of the effects folder. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take the promise, select the promise and channel blur, and then drag these folders, drag these folders into your your effects folder so this folder right here and then you sh should be all good to go make sure you close out of Final Cut install these and then reopen Final Cut but if you do if you follow those steps and everything else looks right you should be perfectly fine if there are any other problems please let me know and I will go ahead and help and just kind of help you fix these issues but if you follow all those steps correctly you should be all good to go and they should appear in your effects panel in Final Cut Pro again make sure you close out Final Cut and then reopen it sometimes I can create a glitch if you have Final Cut open while you're installing um, the plugin and also make sure you're running the correct version of Final Cut. The correct version of Final Cut will be up on the screen as you can see right here. Make sure you're running that version of Final Cut or most likely these plugins are not going to work. Now that you have Final Cut open, let me show you how to transform this clip into this clip. Really easy, really simple, and again, like I said before, it's a very cheap. So instead of buying like the Dehancer plugin for $400 or buying a vintage film camera, not everybody has that kind of money. Let me show you how to create that effect on a budget. So as you can see, this is the, the first clip that we have right here. We're gonna color grade um, the clip first. So let me go ahead and just zoom in. Now this will just depends on you know your clip and all, but I'm gonna go ahead for this example, I'm just gonna color grade it. So we're gonna select in this clip right here. We're gonna go over here to the color panel. We're gonna go ahead and select on the color board now this is just for my example it might be different depending on your video so let's go over here to the exposure and let's take the exposure of something like um, 10 now I already have these numbers um, pre-built uh, in my head so I already know like, all the what all these numbers are going to be so let's go ahead and select on here the shadows negative 22 and then the highlights we're gonna go negative 22 and then let's go over here to the saturation we're gonna leave this at zero we're gonna leave this at 67 and we're gonna leave this at 51 and then we're gonna go ahead and take this to 100 and as you can see, so here is the before, and then here is the after. So you can see it looks a little different. Now I know these numbers already in my head, so it's gonna be different depending on your footage. But you can go ahead and mess with the exposure too. You can maybe bring up the exposure a little more. We'll leave it at like 10. I think that should be um, perfectly fine. Now we could also go over here, we could add like a color wheel. Maybe we wanna bring up the highlights a little bit. 
and maybe bring down the shadows a little bit, bring up the mid-tones, something like this. So you, you can just mess with it. Well, again, I'm just, I'm not being super specific uh, with my numbers, but as you can see, let's go ahead and just deselect the color board, the color wheel. Here's the before, and then here is the after. Already that looks a lot better. Now let's go ahead and apply the different effects onto this clip. So the first effect you want is grain. Now this should already come pre-built with Final Cut. So let's head over here to the effects panel. And we're gonna go ahead and type up grain again should be pre-built in a final cut. We're gonna apply the film grade, we're gonna place it on top of the clip. We're gonna leave the amount at 100, and we're gonna change it to realistic grain. So as you can see, it adds a little bit of grain to the footage. So that is the first, the, the first effect that we want to apply. Now let's go ahead and apply the Pro Mist filter. So go to the effects panel, go to all, and we're just gonna go ahead and type in Pro Mist. And then as you can see, Pro Mist filter, apply the effect onto the clip right here. And as you can see, it already adds, it basically like adds bloom to the highlights. So it's gonna make like the brightest parts of the clip with a little bit of like a bloom or a haze. Now you ideally you only want to apply this effect onto clips with light sources like headlights or street lights or when someone's wearing like white clothing. If the shot is very dark, the promise filter is probably not gonna work. So let's say we want to increase the promise a little more. So we're gonna to go to threshold. We're gonna turn it down. So we're gonna go. So you see that the, the as you go to the slider here, it gets really bright and then here it kind of disappears. So we're gonna go ahead and do something like we'll go ahead and type in the number. We're doing like 0 0.5 and as you can see oh, maybe we can go even lower than that so 0 0.36 so there we go now as you see it adds a little bit of haze to the highlights so here is before and then here is after so it adds a little bit of haze to the highlights which i think is really cool let's see how the clip looks right now use some really nice grain and then some really nice bloom applied onto your clip so there's the clip right here and we're going to apply the channel blur so let's go ahead and just type up channel blur so we're going to apply the channel blur effect onto the clip right here now this is a very subtle effect it's not a super noticeable effect so let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what it's really doing so let's zoom right here what you want to do is you want to select in the clip you want to deselect blur green, blur red, uh, blur blue, and blur alpha. You only want blur red selected. Now what you want to do is we're going to increase the slider. In this case, we're going to increase it to a 60. So as you can see right here, you see there's a little bit of like halation. So it's not, again, it's not, this is probably a better example right here. So you see before, after. So you see it adds a little bit of like red blur to the edges. We can zoom in a little more so you can see what's really doing. As you can see, that's what it looks like right here before and then after it just adds a little bit of like halation or a little bit of like a red outline as you can see right here it's a very subtle effect but it does look really cool now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a film LUT so what you want to do is head over here to the effects panel and you want to type up custom LUT so custom um, LUT and we're just going to go ahead and apply this custom LUT effect onto the clip right here and then what you want to do is you want to basically select a LUT or import a LUT that you downloaded from uh, Cinepax for example or there are whole other different places you can buy. In my case, I got my LUT from Cinepax. So once you have the custom LUT effect applied onto your clip, all you want to go to LUT and then select on None. You can click like Reveal and Finder, Recent. These are all my pre uh, my LUTs that I've already installed. You can also select on Choose Custom LUT. So we can select on Choose Custom LUT and then basically we can go ahead and select whichever LUT we want and then just click on Open. I would leave it to Rec 109, Rec 109 then click on Open and then you want to select your file and then just click on open the important thing is is that LUTs are dot cube file so if it's not a dot cube file it's not a LUT and you can't install so wherever you have once you buy the Cinepak pack or whatever LUT you buy once you buy it you want to put it in your desktop your downloads folder whatever you want and then go ahead and just uh, go through that process that I just showed you select on it click on open and then it should install the LUT as you can see I have the two like folders of LUTs I have a bunch of Ryan Nagel LUTs and then I have Cinepaks we're gonna go uh, we're gonna do film underscore four right here and as you can see there we go and you can of course go to the mix and you can decrease the mix you're going to change the input and output if you want but there you go that's just the very simple uh, way of doing it and then as you can see there you go so as you see you, you saw the before now here is the after now this looks really really cool and there you go that's how you basically create a film look in Final Cut on a budget. Now you can also do two is you can select in the clip right here and you can, with all these effects right here, you can click on save effects presets and you can go ahead and save whichever ones. You can go ahead and select whichever ones you want saved and then just click on save and then uh, obviously figure out what folder you want to put it in. So instead of repeating that step constantly, you can go ahead and just apply the preset 
onto your clip. So as you can see, I just deleted all the effects off this clip. If I go over here to the effects panel and I go ahead and type in the film look preset that I created, as you can see, film look, apply the effect onto the clip. Here's the before and then here is the after. So you see, you can, you can create your own preset you can save and then as you see, just simple as that. So instead of having to repeat all those steps, you can simply apply that preset onto your clip. That is how you create a really cool film look effect in Final Cut Pro on a budget using a couple of my plugins and a really cool filmlet from Cinepax. And before you go ahead and click off this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to check out all my other plugins, presets, and overlays, definitely go ahead and check out my digital store. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.